Welcome friends, I am Tonwar. Today we are going to discuss about some boron and aluminium hydrides. So before going to details, I want to say that uh, I want to explain this alum aluminium hydride. The, one of the very famous aluminium hydride reagent is lithium aluminium hydride. Lithium aluminium hydride. This reagent is widely used as a reducing agent in organic uh, chemistry. So, before going to details, let us check some basic property of this lithium aluminium hydride. This aluminium hydride is tetrahedral with sp3 hydridization and with a formal charge of 1 unit negative. And lithium remains as a counterpart to outside. Okay. Let us check the hybridization of this central aluminium. The outermost valence shell of aluminium is 3s2 and 3p1. Actually, it is homologous of boron. So, it looks like 1s is paired and 1p is singly occupied. So, it under and here it undergo sp3 hybridization so it pre prepare four sp3 hybridized orbital among three is half filled from by three uh, electrons from the aluminium and it forms three single bond with hydrogen and this vacant orbital is filled up by a pair which is coming from hydride. Okay. So, we can consider this aluminium hydride ALH4 is as a combination of ALH3 plus H minus. So, this will help us to understand this hybridization or the property of ALH4 minus in a easier or better way okay so let's go to the preparation of this material so like boron lithium borohydride or sodium borohydride this aluminium hydride could be prepared similar way like reaction of aluminium salt with any hydride of the reagent for example lithium hydride like lithium hydride plus AlCl3 ultimately results in the formation of lithium aluminium hydride AlH4. So, you can see there was 3 chlorine right now here is 4 hydrogen. So, generally it is expected that 4 hydride required and here 1 atom of lithium required for this AlH4 preparation. So, ultimately 3 left and 3 chlorine left. So, the second product will be lithium chloride 3 lithium chloride so in this way you can keep this reaction in mind second this material could also be prepared from metathesis reaction of this sodium aluminium hydride plus lithium chloride where this cat uh, anion and cation exchange will occur which ultimately result in lithium aluminium hydride plus sodium chloride. So, this is the preparation of this lithium aluminium hydride. So, after that we will go to its property. Actually, this material is very highly moisture sensitive reagent. It reacts violently with water and actually it is a pyrophoric reagent. So, it catches fire. Okay, we will explain the reason of this later first of all we would like to explain the main application of this reagent that is reduction of uh, organic molecule reduction of different organic molecules for example we will choose ketone here let's take acetone this is acetone and what's happening this al h4 reacting with this and ultimately ultimately producing this alcohol okay 
so here since it's a reading reduction reaction so check where the reduction and where the oxidation is happening this carbon is plus 2 oxidation state this hydrogen is minus 1 oxidation state and ultimately this is plus 1 oxidation state and this is 0 oxidation state so the reduction is happening on the carbon center that's why this is called a reduction reaction okay so let's write uh, the equation in little different way for example this plus lithium plus al h4 which produces initially which produces a o minus and ultimately in presence of work up with acid it produces the corresponding alcohol ok so this question could be made complicated or tricky uh, by changing the reagents for example if we take lithium aluminium deuterate then what will be the product in the second phase this will be O minus here will be D so keep this thing in mind deuterium will come here and this deuter this deuterium and again this molecule will react with H3O plus to produce this OH D product. Okay, let's take another permutation combination that is let's take lithium aluminium hydride and react with this. which will produce this reagent and work up with D3O plus will result deuterium attached product. Similarly, if we take whole the process deuterium, then Initially, there will be deuterium attachment and finally from D3O plus there will also be a deuterium attachment. So I request you to keep this factor uh, properly in your mind because question may come in any way to may confuse you. And if you understand this process properly, then I guess you will be successful to answer the question properly. So remember, hydride is attacking this carbonyl carbon and the proton is abstracted on this. Another uh, explanation I want to give you because see this carbonyl carbon, this it could have a resonance structure where this bond could go up and form a charged species where oxygen is charged, carbon is positive, oxygen negative. But in case of resonance, if the canonical form produces charge separation, the contribution of that charge separated canonical form to the overall electronic distribution is very less means the contribution of this structure to the overall electronic distribution of this molecule will be less. But this indicates one thing that this carbonyl oxygen will be delta minus and this carbonyl carbon will be delta plus. That is the reason why this hydride from this why this hydride from this AlH3 attacks and second, it is sp3 hybridized hydride 
so it is more nucleophilic compared to simple hydride like sodium hydride lithium hydride etc since sp3 orbital has a particular directional character so i guess you have understood this part okay now let's discuss about the fate of the reagent because always we are curious about the organic moiety means this carbonyl is converted into alcohol we are curious but what happens to the reagent for example we are starting this lithium aluminium hydride what is happening to this reagent so this after transferring one hydride the product is o minus and al h3 and plus lithium we know this alcl3 is a six electron species so it has six state so it is electron deficient and it's a strong lewis acid so it needs some lewis base to get stabilized and in this medium this alkoxide is a very good lewis base so it can coordinate to the alcl3 and result in a adapt formation that is and after this coordination the formal negative charge goes on the aluminum atom and lithium here remains as a cation to counterbalance the charge so this is the thing after the work up means in presence of h3o plus this bond gets broken because it is delta negative and it is delta negative and it is delta positive so what happens this abstracts the hydrogen from the water molecule and here the oxygen attacks and ultimately this produces the alcohol and aluminum hydride is converted into this hydroxide and this aluminum hydride is very reactive i told earlier this is very reactive and very moisture sensitive so instantly it undergo hydrolysis to form this hydroxy aluminum product it undergo hydrolysis instantly so after that this alcohol is separated out so similar thing happens in case of reduction with this borohydrides also similar type of, of uh, phenomena also happen in case of reduction of this carbonyl with borohydride reagent also for example if we take sodium borohydride then this hydride attacks this carbonyl and this o minus species generated and along with that this bh3 generated similarly like aluminum hydride this bh3 is also a six electron species and electron deficient so it needs some lewis acid to uh, some lewis base material to stabilize the lewis acidity of this bh3 and this oxygen is a very good candidate to satisfy the lewis acidity of this bh3 it coordinates and it forms a bh3 adapt
and this BH3 adapt on hydrolysis on hydrolysis produces the alcohol which we wanted and secondly produces boric acid produces boric acid so in this way the uh, reagent is react, uh, reacted or quenched completely after the reaction okay let's let's discuss about the main difference between lithium aluminum hydride as well as sodium borohydride first of all this is very very reactive towards moisture this is less moisture sensitive compared to lithium aluminum hydride second it reacts by it reacts with differently functionalized organic uh, group, functional groups. This lithium aluminum hydride reacts or reduces ketone, aldehyde, carboxylic ester, carboxylic acid, amide, nitrile, nitro, and um, oxygen. This ketone into corresponding secondary alcohol, this aldehyde into primary alcohol this carboxylic ester into this two alcohol and the, here the reduction happened this carbon is here here the reduction happened this carboxylic acid is reduced to alcohol similarly this amide reduced to alcohol and amine this nitrile is also reduced to primary amine this nitro is reduced to amine and this oxygen is reduced is also reduced to the corresponding amine so this is the wide substrate scope for this lithium aluminum hydride but compared to this sodium borohydride is only capable to reduce that carbonyl group like ketone and aldehyde to their corresponding secondary alcohol and primary alcohol so this is the limited range of application of this reagent so this uh, examples indicate that lithium aluminum hydride has a wide substrate scope because it's highly reactive and this sodium borohydride is little less reactive with a smaller substrate scope but this indicates that lithium aluminum hydride is less selective but sodium borohydride is more selective and this thing is important when there are different of functional groups in a particular organic molecule and we have to reduce a particular functional group so for example let's take this dicarbonyl uh, moiety if it reacts with lithium aluminum hydride it results in the formation of the reduction of these two carbonyl into this but if it is reduced by sodium borohydride then selectively this aldehyde group is reduced not that ester 
so ultimately the product is this so this indicates the selectivity of sodium borohydride over this lithium aluminum hydride and it is very important in organic synthesis because if we don't have selectivity then it is very difficult to utilize because a question may come that when this lithium aluminum hydride is capable to reduce a wide substrate scope then why to use sodium borohydride we can use this lithium aluminum hydride but it is always preferred to use the less reactive reagent in the lab because it is more safe so let's come to the main point why lithium aluminum hydride is so reactive compared to the sodium borohydride Actually, the reactivity is coming mainly due to this aluminium and boron center. There is not any role here for this lithium or sodium. So, we will not consider this. Actually, if we go <coughs> along with the group, then first is boron, second is aluminium, third is gallium. So, in then indium then thallium so we know that in periodic table if we go top to bottom that electronegativity decreases or electro positivity increases and size increases so size increases and electronegativity decreases so this is the story Second, aluminium's valence shell is 3s and 3p, whereas boron's valence shell is 2s and 2p. So, if we consider the aluminium hydrogen bond, which is longer compared to the boron hydrogen bond in this sodium borohydride compared to this aluminium hydride. So, increasing bond length decreases bond strength. So, increasing bond length decreases bond strength and a bond is weak which means that bond is highly reactive. So, that is the reason for this reactivity of high reactivity of this hydride. Additionally, aluminium is more electropositive compared to boron. So, this bond is more polar, more charge separated compared to this boron hydride. So, this is highly reactive and the group which borohydride cannot reduce, for example, ester due to the lack of sufficient polarization or reactivity of this hydride, this aluminum hydride can achieve that goal because it is that much polarized and that much reactive. That's why it can reduce this ester into corresponding alcohol. So, this is the end of the study. So, from this aluminum hydride study, we observed that reduction of this ester always end up in the alcohol RCH2OH. So, the question or homework for you is, is it possible to stop the reduction at aldehyde stage using a aluminium reagent? Because we are always saying this aluminium hydrogen bond is very polar, very reactive. That's why it reduces these esters into corresponding alcohol. So, is it possible to utilize an aluminium uh, hydrogen bond containing reagent to reduce this ester into corresponding aldehyde? And this question I shall explain in my next video. So, thank you everyone for watching my video. If you like my video, please like, comment, share and subscribe my channel Chemistry, the mystery of molecules 
एंड थैंक यू एवरीवन बाय